And we do now have new cities that are expecting to see some of this heat as it expands off towards the east. New Orleans, you're going to be one of those areas. Just yesterday, you got in on some nasty storms. Take a look at this. Winds blowing that rain off in an angle. The trees are swaying in the wind as well. You can hear the heavy pitter-patter that was pushing throughout parts of the Big Easy. Yesterday wasn't so easy. Today won't be any different. We do have hot temperatures that are in the forecast once again, and we've been talking about that rain that's been riding this ridge that's going to be impacting areas like Missouri over towards Illinois. But it's the Gulf Coast that gets really hot. South of that ridge, we have an area of high pressure that's in place, and that's what's going to be offering up the hot temperatures. So we'll watch for that through the next couple of days. Take a look at this. The overall setup, our area of high pressure locked over parts of Texas as well as Louisiana and moving into Oklahoma. Today's high temperatures, this is the actual, feel, uh, actual air temperature. 104 degrees for Oklahoma City, 107 for Dallas. Even New Orleans, you're sitting at 98, just two degrees shy of triple digits. When we talk about some of the actual records that could be broken for today, notice how three of the four cities on this screen here are out of Texas. Dallas, 106 as your forecast at high. Going to make a really close run at that record of 107. But the one that really sticks out to me, Michael, is Baton Rouge. Coming through with a forecast at high of 102. Ooh. And again, this takes us back to 1921. That's the last time for this day we've seen triple digits. I mean, you think about that and put that into perspective. That was over 100 years yes. ago that they saw... 100 plus degree heat. It is hot in the capital city of Baton Rouge. That is for sure. And it looks like kind of, you know, look at these numbers. Places like Dallas, Fort Worth, they're looking at that 102 like, that didn't seem all that bad. We're at 106 in Dallas, Fort Worth area. And Houston's like right there, neck and neck with it, 100 degrees for Houston. It gets a little cooler, and I say cooler with, mm. uh, yeah, air, air quotes, quotes, 95 degrees down towards Corpus Christi. So the opposite of this, up towards the northeast, we actually see cooler conditions. Again, ahead of that ridge or uh, north of that ridge is where we catch a bit of a break. Yeah. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.